Hi, I'm Ollie, and I'm going to show you how to correctly identify your roller chain. There are seven key dimensions that need to be taken in order to correctly identify your roller chain. Um, we'll start with the pitch. This is fairly easy. All you need to do is measure from the center of one pin to the center of the other in a single link. The next measurement you can take is the roller diameter. This can be taken on any of the rollers in the chain, like so. You then want to take the inner width. This can be taken between any of the inner plates, like that. The height of the chain is taken from the is taken on the inner plate from the top to the bottom, like so. Thickness of the roller chain is used to be taken on the outer link, like that. And the pin diameter can be taken at the end of the chain on the spare hole, like so, or if that's not accessible, on any of the rivet pins. Final thing that you need to measure is the rivet pin length. This is basically the width of the chain, but taken over the rivet pin, like that. There are three different variations of roller chain, either simplex, duplex, or triplex. And this is how many strands there are in the makeup of the chain. For example, this is a simplex roller chain because there's one set of rollers running down the chain.